Hi, this is Jen Bueller with DIY Anyone, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm participating in the Sunday Fun Day challenge with Deco Easy, which is y John, Yanni, and Diane, and then also with Ginger Chick Rehab, Yvonne, and I've got their their channels linked below. So please be sure and take a look at their at their channels. They are both amazing creators. You'll enjoy them very much. All right, so this is my last of three videos that I've completed using up this baby pool that had a hole in the bottom. And so I've got this circle, which is actually the perimeter of the bottom of the pool itself. And then that center portion, I just am using to reinforce the, uh, the border, which is about a four inch wreath <clears throat> as far as the, um, the diameter of the, the excuse me, the, the diameter of the, the Sorry, the edge of the piece of the wreath is four inches. And the diameter itself, I want to say, is probably 24 um, inches. I measured it earlier in the, I don't, I don't remember for sure, but if you have questions, put them in the, in the comments below and I'll answer for sure what you need. So anyway, so then I glued this all down with, with um, hot glue and then took it outside and sprayed it so none of the blue would show through. And you'll see poof here in just a few seconds. I'll end up with a brown um, uh, wreath. And so there you go. Just cut it. Find the areas you can see down in the lower corner there where, where it needs some more reinforcement. And so that's how I just used it all up. And I just worked my way around. And I actually used every square inch of that wreath. It's pretty awesome. And it was surprisingly strong. You might think it'd be a little jaggedy or jiggly but it was actually very strong and especially top to bottom so that was pretty cool and there's my last piece to cut glue that baby on and just trim up your edges as you go be careful the hot glue will go through the baby pool and then you'll see that little tool in the center that's from Dollar Tree it's a little makeup spatula you know the kind you gotta slap the makeup on with when you get old haha ha. and then the last piece I'll glue on and there we go all right so then I painted it just with some brown rust-oleum paint just something that was easy and I have this six inch burlap that I got at an auction and you're for sure gonna want to know about the auction stuff that I find stuff I will be talking about that as we go on but basically what I want you to do is look in your city for auctions that are going to any kind of business it doesn't matter you'd be surprised the stuff that I find uh, for auctions so then we're gonna hot glue that on and then we're gonna go into super warp speed here and just wrap it around nothing special and just be prepared that that will go through the burlap as I'm sure you only will take one time to learn and wrap 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 all the way around and that will give that even more now granted as you're wrapping that straight burlap around that that um, angled corner you will have to kind of push that wired ribbon in I still you could use unwired ribbon and I think just for the sake of being able to form it like you can with wired ribbon that's what makes it nice and it still gives a very nice finish on the back and there's not a lot of bulk now granted um, I used almost this whole uh, roll of ribbon which kind of made me sad because I was thinking I could stretch it out to go longer but hey that's all right so this was like a 36 dollar yard uh, spool excuse me of ribbon that I ended up getting for a song at the auction in Denver the name of the auction is roller auction and that's because the guy that no name uh, that uh, owns it is named Dave roller and they go all over the city um, when Christmas gets closer I'll have some amazing stuff to show you that I got garland and other cool stuff all right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. So basically, I'm making an Olivia bow, and that is from Olivia's Romantic Home, which, you know, if you haven't seen her channel, you're missing it. She's amazing. And so I just take and just wrap the ribbon in, um, kind of figure it out, yeah, that, that that was the diameter of the bow I wanted. And just wrap it up, wrap, wrap, wrap. That's actually two rolls of Dollar Tree ribbon that are there, which are each nine feet, and that's your, your one your uh, one spool so what I did was I just hung that extra bit down because you know if you just wrap that extra ribbon up inside 
the bow, then you lose some. So what I decided to do was to use this as my um, my uh, tie, the hang down part. And you can do it the way that she does it, which is she just hangs stuff down um, at the end, uh, separate as separate pieces. But I'm kind of like to do it, you know, if I can do it one with one step and do it now kind of thing, then I like to do that. So I kind of played with that a little bit. And it doesn't matter that both pieces are um, end up hanging off um, just the one side doesn't matter at all all right so then wrap the rest of your ribbon and then around in that loop just a continuous loop and I do of course have the right side of the ribbon out so that it's convenient to um, you can see then what's the shiniest part I don't know what I snagged up on there yeah something snagged and for these kind of ribbons to be able to do the wired ribbon again is so much better because uh, to be able to just um, fluff it. If you don't have wired ribbon, it's very difficult to do any fluffing. All right, and so there's another tail to hang down. So I have basically three pieces to hang down. So I'm just going to get those out of the way. And then I've got some other burlap ribbon that I'm going to use from, um, I believe it's Hobby Lobby. And it's the same width. It's the, um, that is not inch and a half, that's two inch ribbon might be two and a half and so just un unwind a bunch and then I'm just gonna hang some tails down again just like I did before and that way like I say you don't have to spend the extra time to add that those ribbon ties or ribbon tails excuse me and so then go ahead and then just wind that around get those just out of the way and just wrap 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 and I went to where I had six loops on each side and that was about the right size the main thing is, is when you're trying to decide how wide you want the bow, it's just laid at the top of the ribbon, and the, or excuse me, at the top of the wreath, and look at it and see, okay, does it look big enough or does it look like a dwarf? Um, and so just, you know, kind of play with it that way. <coughs> excuse me. So then once you've got that done, then you'll have your tail hanging down. And then, yeah, I'm just double checking how many loops I have. You'll have that tail hanging down and just kind of have an idea of how low you want to hang it. And then you're going to just go ahead and use your um, the scissors that cut through wire the best and then snip the, um, um, oh, I think I may show you here, yeah, that's Kirkland. I might have said Hobby Lobby, I, I apologize. Kirkland ribbon which it's six bucks for that whole thing for the 50 feet. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so I was gonna mix that with it and I thought, nah, it kinda look kinda old fashioned and you know, I'm trying to be, you know, not old fashioned. So set that aside, think about it a while. And then what I'm gonna do here is just clip, um, find the middle, clip through the wires on the, on the sides and the dollar, just be sure whatever you're clipping through your wires it's not your good sewing scissors or they won't be your good sewing scissors for long my kids know and my family knows do not touch my gingers those are the, that's the brand name of the fancy um, sewing scissors that I use all right so then just kind of get your computer tie you know for years and years I just used wire to do this and then when I saw somebody use a cable tie I'm like duh great idea I uh, got a package of the large cable ties like that at Dollar Tree <clears throat> And so then just snag that baby up, get it to where it's ready to really tighten down, get it between the little snips. And then it's nice if you can kind of gather the ribbon like you'd like it as well. So you'll see that I kind of pinch it kind of the way that I like it and then uh, cinch it down. Now at the end of the video, I do end up adding another bow. And what you realize you can do is that you can add uh, computer ties at the back through that loop and then add other bows. There's a lot of um, adjustments that you can make to bows. Even if you look at it and you go, like I say, when I started to fluff this bow, I realized with just the two colors that it was kind of like, you know, even odd, even odd, and it didn't look right, and I wasn't really happy with it, and I'm like, I needed another color in there, but I, there wasn't really a color that I knew that at that time I wanted to use, so I kind of had to go rooting around in my stash, which, you know, my husband's now calling it the DTDS, which is the downstairs, I'm sorry, the downstairs, DSDT, sorry, I got it backwards, 
Um, the downstairs Dollar Tree. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Although, I've got a lot of stuff down there that I have never shopped at Dollar Tree prior to this year. And I have had a blast. And yeah, I kind of get stuff like that I'm going to make stuff with. So, for example, you can see this little, um, that's the, the, the like the little glass, uh, it looks like it's glass, but anyway, the icicle ribbon and then the silver balls and then that ribbon with the trees that I showed is from, um, that one's from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to put that in the center. Now I'm going to slow down this section here while I make my bow. Oh, he was supposed to slow it down. Oh, got a doctor from production. Okay. All right. So measure it. Give it. A, I gave it about a foot and then these bow loops. I wanted to make sure that they were smaller than the red and the burlap. Now, don't freak out about if it has a pattern or not. The key is, is to listen to the ribbon. So I've got the first loop and I'm showing you here that it's about five to six inches uh, is what I'm going to put those loops at. And I've, I have made literally over the years hundreds of these loops because I make them in my fresh centerpieces, which I'm about ready to release my, um, the centerpiece that I use that I made using um, um, the Dollar Tree cheap garland, the pieces of garland. I didn't think I could do it, but oh, it turned out cool. So watch for that one. It'll be coming out shortly. So do your loops, and like I say, listen to what the rhythm the, the ribbon says. If it's like, oh, it's looking at like a time to turn it around, then turn it around. Now I'm going to do the button part, which is the center of the ribbon. So I've got a couple loops there, and I'm just kind of looking at it to make sure it's the same size. And then I'm flipping it around to make then that tiny loop, which is called the button, in the center. The key is, is to be sure you catch it in one big loop. And if you don't, I'll show you a way that I mess it up all the time and that I, that I don't, uh, um, that you can still salvage it. It's not a big deal. All right, so then you see where the ribbon's like, oh, okay, flip up and through. So then pinch a little bit. Look and see if it looks about right. I've got three loops on that side and three loops, I believe, on the top. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, and then there you go again. Just listen to the ribbon. There's your four loops. This makes a very nice, just complete bow. And if you want to make it different with diff lot, different numbers of loops, go for it. Does not matter. This 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 bow can be made with any number of loops. And then slap that cable tie in there. Flip it over. Hold on to your ribbon if you can. And it may take you a second to kind of fit it going on in there. Now with this ribbon though, with this bow, I did not tighten this down all the way because I'm going to want to put another cable tie underneath there to be able to attach that then to the bigger bow that is already laying in place. So just get it enough where it's going to hold your loops and hold your button in place so that you don't have to fuss with it. Also too, that's a good time to turn in if any of the um, long pieces that you're going to use for ties, or excuse me, for um, tails, if they're hanging <clears throat> the wrong direction, that's a good time to be able to wiggle them around and get them the way you want them. All right, and then I'm like, all right, that's about the right length, and I'll go back and, I don't know when I dovetail those, but I always dovetail stuff. <clears throat> and get that out of the way. Now, I want to apologize for when I'm doing my creating here for the wreath itself, because I kind of just grab a bunch of junk that I think looks good, and then I kind of fuss with it as I go, and I put it in super fast speed, so if this is ticking you off, let me know, and I won't do it again, and then you can just speed it up, and I'll do it in slow. But I hated to have a video that was too long when, you know, the co-hosts look at that and go, are you tripping? What are you doing putting this a 90,000 minute video? Um, okay, so then I started here just with some lamb's ear, and you can see there are actually even two sizes of lamb's ear, which actually I don't believe really matters when you get right down to it but it was kind of a nice base just to use and then I'm going to end up using some of the Dollar Tree garland pieces which I haven't seen really out yet I don't really know when they come out honestly I ordered a case because I didn't know when it was going to come out and I knew I wanted to try my um, centerpiece my one using um, the Dollar Tree garland first so I just ordered a case and I've used already half of it 
So then I'm just taking these pieces and cutting them off of the um, off of the um, center of the Dollar Tree piece, and you'll notice that all, all of a sudden, poof, magically arrived some some pine cones and some of the red berries, and those were some of the other uh, picks that I had that I'd cut apart. Now the nice thing is, is once you want to look at it, is you'll notice that the that the the um, Dollar Tree garland pieces. I keep saying garland. I don't mean garland. What I mean is the um, evergreen pieces, the bendable ones. I don't have them very thick off of either side, and I don't really think you need that. What if anything it does is it helps your eye to look past the border of the wreath itself, and that's what I what I've done over the years is just to just look look at what looks right to your eye. Now notice that on the one side, on the right side, the way that the um, burlap wreath is, or burlap wrap, wrap is, it's very easy just to tuck those those um, picks down in, no problems, shove a little glue and you're good to go. On the left side, the um, burlap ribbon runs a different direction. So all you have to do is just bend a little U in the bottom of the pick and then that will just get a natural little hook to go up underneath that burlap and let you glue and still have it be a, a natural way for it to sit. Um, that cotton um, wreath piece or garland piece I got at uh, Hobby Lobby I'm sure on big sale believe me or I wouldn't have bought it. And so I just cut a chunk on either side and the main thing you want to do is just weave that in and out and you'll see how um, it's easy to cover up as you go on, but just weave it in and out so that the big um, parts of wire don't show. I didn't want to cut it apart because I didn't want to have to glue all those pieces and that gives a little stability for all those other single picks that are there. <clears throat> so again, if this is too irritating with how I'm doing it and you'd rather me do it slower next time so that you can see what I'm doing and then you can speed it up that's let me know these are things that I'm learning in the YouTube world now the um, ball the sleeve of balls there the silver balls is from Dollar Tree there was a dozen of them in there and what I did was I took a piece of wire and and uh, wired three of them together and then just use that wire and I hooked it around whatever was handy for wherever I wanted to hook it. And then though, because <clears throat> the wire didn't hold them together very well, I did end up putting hot glue to be able to make it where they will um, uh, hold together and then you don't want to see the tops of them. All right, so then I'm adding just some more of this. I'm fluffing that. What I'm doing is just taking it and pulling it down from the opposite direction and then you'll be able to see where I just add some more of that greenery. And then I added the two little birds, the two little cardinals on the left. Now, this Pitberry stuff, um, this was these the Pitberry Farms. I'm gonna be releasing the video about that. I did a comparison on Dollar Tree versus Pitberry, Pitberry Farms. And um, the Pitberry is more expensive, but what I liked about it was it just had the ability to do so many different colors. Now, the one that I'm using here is red and white, and Dollar Tree does have their Pitberry garland out right now. So if you like that stuff, go pick it up because I think it's nine feet for a buck, and that's a really great price. And I was just taking the Pitberry, just looking to see, you know, again, what looks good to your eye. Trust your eye. I think a lot of times people don't want to do this stuff because they don't want to trust their own um, I and then if and if you don't think you, it looks right ask somebody and say okay does this look like dumb or it doesn't look even or it doesn't look balanced or whatever adjective you want to use just ask somebody else to take a look at it for you and I use my my daughter-in-law who um, lives here with us and my son and and they are pretty good at being honest with me to say no it's ugly ma versus no it looks good so, all right, getting ready, almost done here, getting ready for the beauty shots. And if you haven't subscribed, boy, I would sure invite you to do that and hit that bell so that anytime I release a video, that will come out your way. And pretty much finished up here. And if you want to take a look at how it turned out, there you go. I sure had a blast doing this. Hope to see you again soon. And this is Jen. Have a great rest of your week.
And thank you again to Yanni, Diane, and Yvonne. Bye.